to this channel y'all man this video i'm gonna share with you guys the 10 by 10 feet max canopy by shelter logic as you can see here and i actually got this one here because i'm gonna put it on my porch so i could work on my porch at times you know i need to work on my lawnmower or something like that um you know you'll be up on the porch and also the porch um have lights and all that stuff on it so pretty much i can um get on there work on my lawnmower at night time or whatever you know i don't have to worry about being on the ground too much plus i have the light i need now it says a waterproof polyurethane fabric uh it has 138 steel frame construction 138 and twisted tight tension secure cover Alright, uh, you could park a half a car in here anyway. It's showing you got a motorcycle in here. 10 by 10 is big enough because it's the size of my porches are 10 by, I think 10 by 14, something like that. So this will be plenty big for my porch. Alright, now that's my first time. This thing was 100 and sent me back at 115 bucks on Amazon. And like I stated, it's Shelter Logic. And, um,. Let's pop it over, man. I cut the scraps right then. And I'm just getting it off the UPS, man. All right, let's pop and see what we got. All right, first thing I see that we have on top here is the canopy cover. It's the top cover right here. The things are made pretty thick, too. I would say when it started to tear, I recommend just um, put some Gorilla tape on them. Oh, man, they got some pretty thick poles here. Um, as you can see here, where, the, where it's twisted here, it's pretty thick. Poles are kind of thin, rather. I wouldn't say you could bend this, but it's pretty. It's not the thickest in the world. Now, you can get them with thicker poles than this, but um, they're not too thin. Okay, and uh, here's the legs. That's the one thing I don't really like. It's the plastic legs and stuff that go to the bottom right here. I think they should have made these steel. Now, that's a drawback right there. I think they should have made those steel. Um, it fits right down into here like this here. Um, something like that. I mean, this is a particular leg here, ain't ain't going in there so it's maybe this for, for the top part of it oh yes it went in there i was right i had to spin it over i did the right thing and i guess a screw or something go through there to hold the legs this ain't a particular part but just giving you guys a general idea uh screw go through there now i think they should have because i screw this down to the porch you know like um this i just screw it right down to the porch like that put four screws in it but the thing I don't like, I feel like it should have made them steel. It should have made these legs steel. That's a drawback right there. Um, they, they, the plastic part still can break. I would recommend putting some kind of um, reinforcements to even to this. You know. So here's the bungee scraps right here. That's what secured the canopy on top of the car porch and here's that ankle things right here is where the top go right there so when it runs down and your canopy just goes on the top 10 by 10 it's gonna take a little time to put this thing together i was at least uh, 30 45 minutes to an hour but uh yeah this thing was 115 bucks and i uh, actually feel like it should have been um a little bit thicker or steel or something like that. That's what a picture of it again from the side. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are familiar with Shelter Logic. They also make portable garages where you can close them in and stuff. And I think you could buy the, the side walls to this one. I think you could close this one in as well. But uh, yeah, the canopy seems to be pretty thick here. Not too bad on the canopy part. Like I said, tears just put gorilla tape. So 
Anyway, I just want to share that with y'all, man. Next time y'all see it, maybe we'll have it up. Till next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.